Hi and welcome to another Pro Blogger video post. Well, I've got a bags underneath my eyes, uh, I'm unshaven, I'm slightly jet lagged, um, I'm home from South by Southwest Interactive 2008. But I wanted to give you a, just a quick update with a few thoughts from South by Southwest, particularly with regards to how to promote yourself or how to promote your blog at a conference. And I want to give you five suggestions of things that I saw people doing at South by Southwest, which made an impression upon me and helped me to remember them and their blog. The first thing um, is business cards. Um, at South by Southwest, I literally received hundreds of business cards. Uh, it was interesting. I was at one of the parties on the first night and I came, uh, met a guy called Grant Robertson from um, the Download Squad. And he gave me this business card. And it was a business card that he'd made uh, just at the last minute before South by Southwest. And it told the story of him realizing that he didn't have a business card on it and kind of had this little sort of um, commentary, I guess, around the making of his business card. And it was interesting. I saw Grant give this card out to 10 or so people over 15 minutes that I was in a group with him. And on every occasion, it stopped the person in their tracks as they read it. And in a sense, what he did is he grabbed their attention away from the party that was happening and, and focused them on himself in, in, a, in a humorous kind of way. And he created an impression with it. Um, B5 Media's business cards, we kind of have this slightly different design um, with, with the edges and we have on the back of it, um, we um, brand ourselves, I guess, as you know, a network with kick-ass bloggers. Even just a card with a different shape to it, um, some bright colors, it creates an impression. And again, in, in a similar way to Grant's, uh, even just having a slightly different card like this can just break a person's, uh, grab a person's attention. So business cards are one thing that I do. Now, the second thing I noticed a number of bloggers and product developers um, doing quite well was uh, they have had these elevator pitches, I guess, when they met people. Uh, and, and of course, the first question you get asked when you meet someone at a conference is, what do you do or what is your blog? And some of the most effective people at networking that I saw had this just snippet grab of what their blog was about and in a couple of occasions they actually in that elevator pitch I guess you'd call it they not only said what they do but they actually uh, mentioned a problem that they solved. Mentioning a problem that you solve with your elevator pitch um, hooks people in that might have that problem particularly if it's a common problem. So um, work on your elevator pitch. The third thing um, is your badge. Um, what I saw a lot of people doing with their, their um, conference badges was adding things to it. You see here quite a big uh, amount of white space that was empty. A lot of the bloggers that I saw either added their blog name um, and URL or their Twitter account. And, and in a sense, what they were doing is branding themselves. And time and time again, I saw people come up to others who had their Twitter account and um, with their mobile phones, um, follow them instantly. And it's a really smart way of, I guess, grabbing people and hooking them in, getting them to subscribe to something that you do, not only when they come to your blog, but they're in person. Um, uh, the fourth thing that um, I noticed some people doing was interviewing others. They had their, their video phone or they had a video camera or, their, or just their digital camera that they switched into video mode. And they were interviewing as many people as they could quickly at the conference. And by interviewing people, you, you do a number of things. Firstly, you grab their attention. There's nothing like having a camera in your face to make you focus your attention upon a particular person. And so um, what you're doing is grabbing people out of the, the buzz of the conference and, and getting them to focus on you for a moment or two right then and there. Secondly, you're creating a memory for them. Um, uh, you're perhaps appealing to some of their vanity. And I guess lastly, you, you're giving them a reason to check you out when they get home to see if you've published the interview that you've done. The, the last thing I would say is to, and, and this really taps into a lot of what I've been talking about already, is to do something out of the box. Um, at South by Southwest, there was 8,000 people at the interactive part of the conference. At a conference like that, you need to do things to stand out. And one of the best examples that I saw of this was one of the B5 media people. Uh, was Joey. Uh, you, if you were at South by Southwest, you might have seen this guy. He had an accordion, accordion a piano accordion. Um, and Joey um, just had this amazing ability to draw a crowd around him by starting to play all kinds of popular songs on his accordion. He could play Britney Spears. He 
pretty much you name it, um, uh, name an artist, he would be able to play a song by them. And he would do it in uh, the hallways of the conference. He would do it outside of uh, bars while everyone was waiting up to get into parties. And in doing so, he drew people to him. He grabbed their attention and he, he created an impression. Um, I would say that Joe is probably the most photographed person at South by Southwest uh, because he had a tool to do it. And these are just five of the things that I saw people doing at South by Southwest which helped to brand themselves and to, uh, to grab the attention of those around them. And I'm sure that you could add to the list uh, of, of these sorts of things and I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on that too.